All right, welcome back to the Daily Mastermind. George Wright the Third here. I'm your host. I hope you are off to a great morning, or if you're listening to this in the evening, or some of our international listeners, um, I hope you've had a great day. So I want to talk to you today about something I haven't hit in a little while, and it's the 13 Principles of Success from Napoleon Hill. Or you could look at them as the 13 principles that are taught in the book, Think and Grow Rich. Now, for those of you that may not know who Napoleon Hill is, which probably isn't anyone. I think They Can Grow Rich is one of the best-selling books of all time outside of the Bible. Um, and if you haven't read it, you definitely need to check it out. But Napoleon Hill, um, you know, he, he, he conducted about 20 years of research, and it was all research done from some of the wealthiest and most successful and well-known individuals in the world. And what he did is he culminated that research into the book, Think and Grow Rich, which is really set on these 13 key principles for success. And I would argue that there are principles for success in any area of your life. And I haven't covered them recently, but I I personally tend to go back to them often. And so I think it may be a great review for you today. It may be a great thing to kind of get you regrounded, refocused on foundational principles of success. And so what are these 13 principles? I'm going to kind of go through them for the sake of time rather quickly but I would also encourage you to go back and, and study each of these principles. What Napoleon Hill talks about is that the first principle is desire. And desire focuses on the presence of something in addition to um, you know, what you're looking for to, to accomplish in order to create success. So for anyone to be successful, it's critical that there is some type of desire um, you know, at least to better your state, right? And without that desire, you're not going to be able to create any kind of results. But as you begin to fuel your desire, and we'll talk about some of the principles that will help you to do that, you've got to understand that simply wanting or wishing for something isn't enough. You've got to create a deep burning desire for something so that it will become a reality and so that the, the dream is big enough that the obstacles and things that you encounter along the way, um, you know, they're not going to slow you down. They're not going to hold you up. And so desire is what's going to push you past your comfort zone. Desire is something that's going to give you um, the ability to motivate and inspire yourself past where your current circumstances are. And so I believe that this is a great principle because desire is something you've got to focus on. You've got to create that burning desire. The second principle is faith. Now, desire is just one part, but desire stems and attracts emotions that are going to arise deep inside you. And faith is one of those that comes with it because for desire to come true, you've got to have faith. And faith, in my opinion, is just a decision. Um, You know, there's a difference between belief and faith. Faith is something you choose to believe regardless of whether you have any thing in your life that'll that'll um you know convince you otherwise in other words you you I, I use the analogy of rock climbing all the time you know when you're rock climbing you can't necessarily see always where your foot's going to go next but if you have something somebody climbing with you and they tell you it's there there's a foothold for you to put your foot on um you know whether or not you believe in it is irrelevant you can have faith in the people that are guiding you um the same principle goes in business if you have faith, you believe something's going to happen even without, you know, physical manifestation of it or, or any proof. And so faith is a key principle. When you're working outside your comfort zone, you've got to have faith. And that's the second principle of success. The third principle is auto-suggestion. Now, this is a really good one because I think a lot of times what we don't seem to realize, a lot of people don't realize, is that when we uh, try to set out to accomplish a goal our mind goes and works against us because it it tells us you've never done that before. And so a strong reason why we don't accomplish our goals is your your subconscious and your conscious mind are saying, look, that's never going to happen. You've never done it. And so one of the ways to overcome this doubt or this fear is auto-suggestion, things like affirmations, because repetition can help you to create belief and confidence. So affirmations help you to believe because you're stating the fact. You're stating the fact that I am a successful person. I am a success in business. I do these things. And so auto-suggestion and that, that idea of repetition can really help you to push past some of the fears and doubts that you may have in your life. So I love that principle as well of auto-suggestion. The fourth principle is specialized knowledge. Specialized knowledge, and I, and I like to add a little bit here, not necessarily for myself, but for many mentors that I have, 
It's the idea of acquiring knowledge that you need in order to get you where you need to be successful. That might be marketing. It might be a skill set. It might be some type of financial background. Whatever that specialized knowledge is, I would pair that with your unique talent. And we've talked about your unique talent being the thing that you're excellent at and passionate about. But what most people don't do is they don't go deep into an area of specialized knowledge. They try to just be good at a lot of different things. And what this principle says is that in order to be successful, you've got to really acquire that specialized knowledge and really become a master at it. This is the 10,000 hour rule. This is the idea that you'll drive deep into something you need to be successful. So what is that skill set that you need to take what you're doing to the next level? Don't just dabble, drive deep. The fifth principle is imagination. Now, imagination, it's a, it's a little bit of visualization, which we'll talk about in a little bit, but imagine, imagination is your ability to be creative, create solutions. I talk about starting from solution because a lot of times when we're focused on the problem, we don't get creative. So imagination can be very, very helpful for you when you're in a marketplace like we have now, which is difficult. You've got to get out of the box. You've got to get an idea of what it's going to be like as you accomplish your success. Having that creative mindset to be able to create solutions, but also see where you're going to be and have that imagination to develop the sense of what it's going to be like as you accomplish your goals. That's a super critical principle that I really like. The sixth principle is organized planning. Now, obviously, in order to be successful, you've got to have a concrete plan. And this is where a lot of you fall short. And I've fallen short in this area in my life as well. But the plan has to give you a path to accomplish what you want. And it's got to be detailed. You can't just have an organized general plan. It's got to be detailed. And also, don't get caught up in the details to the point that you're not sure if this is the exact plan because a detailed plan can evolve and pivot along the way. But you've got to have organized planning. You've got to have a blueprint for your path to success, even if that blueprint gets changed along the way. And that's a really critical one. Seventh, you've got to be able to make decision. Decision and decisiveness is super key. See, a lot of people, they, they hesitate. And I like to take this a step further by saying commitment because some people say they want something, but they don't commit to making it happen. So having a very firm resolve to make a decision to do what it takes to get to your goals is huge. You know, take a very thoughtful, methodical, strong, well thought out period of time to be able to make a decision that you're going to do what it takes and you're not going to give up because you don't fail unless you stop, unless you give up. So decision is a key principle. The eighth principle, and this is probably one of my favorite, is persistence. See, many people fail at their first attempt. They they fail a hundred times, let's say, or, or, or a thousand times like Thomas Edison did with the light bulb. But many people give up. And the the point here is that desire and commitment and a plan and all those things aren't any good without persistence. This means you're willing to do whatever it takes. You'll spend as long as it takes. You'll do whatever it takes and you won't give up. And persistence is the key to success. I think most people will tell you, most successful people will tell you that it was not because they just overcame failure, but they overcame failure over and over and over again. The ninth principle which obviously I'm partial to as well, is the power of the mastermind. One of the most important principles that you can take advantage of and also leverage is the power of the mastermind. You need to align yourself, your thoughts, your vibration, your focus, your goals with other like-minded people in pursuit of similar paths. Mastermind is not just having, oh, I've got a finance guy, I've got a legal guy, I've got sales and marketing people. It's aligning yourself, not with a skill set, but with other like-minded people that aspire to go the same direction you do. Because there's an energy, there's a, there's a um, benefit, an intangible benefit of being a part of a mastermind. And so that's a really, really, really great principle, number nine. Number 10, transmutation. Now, this is one of the more controversial points in, in Napoleon Hill's book. He explains that we all have strong sexual energy within us that we use to sort of charm and attract other people that we're interested in. And he says, if you can learn to tap into this energy and use it through your creative imagination, you'll be able to use that same charm for individuals that are aligning you towards your success in business or relationship, whatever it is. 
And it can help you to get your goals and do things if you can learn to channel and funnel that energy. That's the 10th principle. The 11th one is the subconscious mind. Now, we can control our subconscious mind by controlling and quieting sort of our conscious mind and instilling the beliefs that we want into our subconscious mind. And this is best achieved through like, you know, meditation, for example, or affirmations. Because when we repetitively or focus consciously on certain concepts, principles, goals, desires, we can imprint those things into our subconscious mind, especially with the 12th principle, which is the brain or visualization. Because the the mind doesn't know the difference between real and not real. That's why you could be sitting in a movie and be so into it that you you literally are scared or you are sad or you cry because the brain and the subconscious mind can be imprinted. And so the 11th principle is the subconscious mind. The 12th one is the brain. And I think it's important to realize and, and, and really identify the fact that your brain is just a tool. You are not your mind. You are not your thoughts. You are the person that observes your thoughts. You're the person that observes and utilizes this tool. So learn to utilize your brain. You have to feed it. You have to nourish it. You have to utilize it. <clears throat> and then finally, the, the 13th principle is the sixth sense. And this is your intuition or gut feeling. And it becomes more profound when you start meditating and, uh, you know, meditating and tuning in kind of your, your subconscious mind. But the subconscious mind is your connection between that infinite wisdom of the universe. And and the sixth sense starts to appear when you apply the other 12 principles. So I think it's really important to do that. Now, I know we're out of town, but I, out of time. And um, I, I got I to gotta tell you, man, I, I really hope and my desire is that you'll dig into these 13 principles. And let me give them to you one more time. Desire, faith, auto-suggestion, specialized knowledge imagination, organized planning or a definite plan, decision, persistence, the mastermind, transmutation, subconscious mind, the brain, and the sixth sense. I think if you spend your time, your life, your future really studying these principles, I think you're going to find they're going to lead you into all other success principles out there. But I think you're going to find that these are the things that are going to help you to accomplish what you want. And that's why I continue to go back to them and continue to go back to the book, uh, Think and Grow Rich. So anyway, I hope that's something that helps you, inspires you a bit, gives you a little bit more tactical as well as um, some strategy. But, um, But if this is your first time listening, I want to remind you, hit that like and subscribe on the podcast so you don't miss any episodes. And just remember this. It's never too late to start living the life you're meant to live. It's never too late to start going down the path. If you've been missing certain things in your life, make a decision today that you're going to make those changes. And I hope that's something that'll help you. Once again, this has been The Daily Mastermind. My name is George Wright III. Look forward to talking with you more tomorrow. Have a great day.